Okay, lesson 6-1, cover regions. So a unit square is a square with sides that are each one unit long. So it has to be a perfect square. You can't do unit squares with rectangles. It has to be a square where each side is the same distance. So this is one unit, and a unit square has an area of one square unit, which means I could basically cut out a shape that's this size and fill that with it. So if we're looking at the circle here and we want to know how many of these little squares does it take to fill this whole inside, to color the inside, the best thing to do is to count up all the whole squares. And when you do that, you have to put a little dot inside each one to know you counted it. So one, I'm not going to count this one because this whole square isn't shaded in. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's all the way shaded in. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna make tally marks for those. 11, 12. Now I'm gonna take all the ones that I didn't fill in and see if I can put two of them together to make a square. Like this little guy, would fill in this little section right here. So this one and this one make one mark or one square. This one and this one make one square. Then I would say this little guy right here fills in this little spot right here. So this one and this one are one. This one and this one right here are one. Then, oh, this one is a whole one. I missed that one. And then the rest of these, I would say that they are so close that we're gonna say about this many cover it. So I would say one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. So I would say about 21 square units cover the shape. It's a teeny bit less than that because some of these are missing little corners it, like it might end up being about 20, but if we're saying about, there's not any difference in about 20 or about 21 as far as filling in this area. Now let's look at this one. This one, all of them are all the way filled in. So this is much easier to count how many shaded boxes we have. This row is the same distance as that row, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if this is six and this is six, that's 12. And then we have one, two, three, four. If this is four and that's four, that's eight. We have uh, 20 square units. And this is exact. They're, I mean, it is. they are perfectly filled in. There is not like where we had to do up here where this little guy is going to fill in that one. And then we really had some leftover extra ones. This is exact. Okay, let's look at this one. Count the square, the unit squares that are completely filled, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 14. Then combine, that's what we did up here. We, we put these two together. Combine the partially filled squares to make full squares. Okay, so we got, see how this is like, that's your whole square. Half of that is filled in and half of that is filled in. So if we were to take this, that would fill that in right here. So those two make one. These two make one. Those are tally marks, so that is two, right? So the area of the shape is 16 square units. We had 14 filled in completely, and then we put those two and those two together four halves, which made two holes. Okay, let's look at this one at the bottom here. Count to find the area of the shape. Tell if the area is exact or an estimate. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna count the number of, of whole filled squares, and then we can do the partially. So 
So the whole fill would be one, two, and really these are just so close. We know that this is gonna be an estimate. These are so close that I'm just gonna fill those, okay? So we have six that are whole filled, and then this is like, this one's like a half, and that one's like a half. So, so these two together make one, and these two together make one, which is really two, right? Those are tally marks. So six plus two, we have eight square units, and it's going to be an estimate. Okay, so now you go ahead and fill in your sheet, and I want you to do that, not looking at the answers, but to, now that you've seen me do it, I want you to go back through your sheet and count the whole, the whole squares first, then see which ones you can put together to, to pair them up and combine and make one together. But the area is basically this whole insided shape. So sometimes I like to go, like this is 21, and this is 20, and this is 16, and this is eight. And I kind of write it inside so that you see what area truly means. Okay, good job.